Hello everyone, it is me, I'm making a video today, and today we will be discussing on, like, just some basics on Paint 3D, just a little tutorial series I'm gonna make because I think it is very helpful for people who wanna make 3D models in any sorts. So first we'll just start with the basics, and then we'll go into the harder stuff in later episodes, perhaps. Maybe I'll just make this all one long episode, because, you know, why not? Okay, number one, basic, you know, no, good to knows. Um, so just some pro tips that I usually use. Turn on transparent canvas. Do that instantly. When you first get in, instead of just going right to the modeling and right to like the editing, turn on transparent canvas. Because oh yeah, that that's my uh that's my software free cam. So. If if I want to uh, do some modding, so let's let's go. Let's go. Just use the Oswald stuff, assets, and then images. All right. So then let's just go to the icons, and then I'll just use. Icon pipe cleaner here. See, that's background, right? And then, if you want, like, I'm just using this as an example. You probably might call me like, "Oh, we already know that's stupid," but you know, I'm just, I'm just making sure. If you go, "Oh, make it 3D," the background's gonna be all, you know, like that. But there is a way to make it so the background doesn't show up. But it just takes a lot longer if you're doing it like this, and I wouldn't recommend it. But if you're doing this for, like, if it's like, the background's cleared, and doing this just for precision, then yeah, do it. See? It's a big glitch. Okay, let's just clear that out. Then let's, uh, you know, make that clear. Let's go up the ma basic uh, brush tools. Got the, you know, marker. Your simple, you know thing, you know, your simple, you know, normal, like, marker type tool, you know, how you use in any other thing, then we got your calligraphy pen, I guess that's how you say it, and it goes, you know, thinner and wider, depending on how long you drag this thing out, see, and then you got your oil brush, which is kind of like this weird, like, stamp tool, and it kind of gives you that, like, a rough effect, and it's usually good for pavements, like, you know, like, sometimes if you want to, you know, make, like, a, like a sidewalk, you do this. Or if you're doing, like, some rough fur texture, then you can do that. And you got your watercolor, which is just, as it would seem, watercolor. It kind of makes it look, you know, kind of dampish. Kind of looks like rain on paper, you know. And after a while, if you hold it down for a tiny bit, it starts to actually turn to, like, a real color. You get the idea. Then you got your pixel pen, which is for pixel art. And, you know, see if you go up real close, you can see the pixels. Then if you're doing one, then you can just see two pixel, sometimes one. Depends on how long you hold that thing down. Then you got your pencil, which is just, you know, like kind of like a faded looking, um, you know, faded looking uh, marker. But yes, these all do have opac opacity sliders, so, you know, you can do this. But I don't know if you'll be using that that often, because, you know, it's not that useful. Like, it is sometimes, but, you know. Eraser. This could be used on 3D and 2D objects, so let's just say, uh-oh, I accidentally did this, like a freaking idiot. And then, let's do the... I usually do max thickness, just to remove things quicker. But it's like, okay, there you go, and gone. See? Then you got your crayon, just kind of like a like a kind of like a trail color, which I use. Oh, that's from an older project. This is just an eye. That could be used later on. I can show you that later, which could be used for anything relating to an off color, as in anything reducing to tears, to blood. That's kind of like a like a dark blood, I guess, and then the, and sometimes just like an extra color. Which could, this could also be used if you want. 
Then you got the spray can. Spray cans really lag out your thing, so I'd recommend if you're doing this on a 3D model, make the first make the th like. Usually I don't do this like ever, but if if you're just like don't want your thing to crash if you're on like your mom's old computer, I'd recommend making a you know like a like a 3D model like this, making it 3D, getting a cylinder making it any color making it a sticker and then putting it on there and you can squash and stretch it any however you like so it looks like that see but I recommend just so you know how it looks on there just do it normally and then you got your entire fill tool which fills up the background but depending on how much tolerance it has it could fill up more than just the background so instead of I just I don't I just want the background colored boom just like the background and this gets not colored but if you have your tolerance really low, sometimes, like, if you color, oh, oops, it's like, sometimes, yes, it will look a bit choppy on some things. Like, sometimes, if I, like, hold on, let me show you. If I do this, get rid of the fill in this, and I'll show you, like, the 2D shapes later. Um, do this, look, kind of, kind of looks bad, see? So if you're going to do this, another pro tip is if you just are going to fill in like that, then I'd recommend trying to find the middle and doing that. But it's completely up to you and, you know, you don't have to. I don't know what that looks like. Okay, now. Now let's head in to the colors. The colors are usually used for coloring. What do you think? Thumb, thumb, thumb. See, you know, just color like this. And you can select a lot of wide range of colors and your own custom colors. This is just a skin tone. See, I have a ma I, I already filled up my slots, sadly, but uh, I can always get more if I just replace one. Which I probably won't be doing anytime soon. Even if you don't have any slots as well, you can always make new ones, even when they don't get saved. So, you know, that kind of sucks, but like, you know, at least you have a new color. Keep on pressing paste. You know. And then he, what do you, if it, like, oh, I forgot my train of thought. So, this custom bar. This is, you know, your, uh, different, you know, your, your different material types. So, you can have a weird, glossy pen for some reason. I, it doesn't show up that well, but, uh, see if I, if it shows, no, yeah, it doesn't show up that well. But if you go on to a 3D model, look, it looks all shiny. Beautiful. Ah, beautiful. And there's also gloss. You know, it's kind of just like a kind of glossy look. Polished metal is really glossy. Dull metal is kind of glossy. And then matte is just, or mate, matte, I think it's matte, I don't know. It's kind of just, you know, nothing. Let's get into the, t you know, the 2D shapes option. You get this wide array of things, like shapes. You got your circles, you got your squares, and sometimes you got these rounded squares. Then you got some nonsensical ones like these talk bubbles, think bubble, this big pow thing, this X, check mark, moon, flag, lightning bolt. And your heart. And then these shapes over here. And, you know, your basic shapes up here. Then we've got line and curve, which is just, you know, lines. You know, you can make a line. You know, that's two, um, that two-point line. And then you got a curve, which is a three-point line where you can... Oh, I accidentally deleted it like an idiot. Where you can make a happy, you know, fappy face, sad face. I don't know. I don't know. Just do anything. And sometimes you can do mouths with it, like if you do this and then do this. You can't change the thickness of all of these, which I can show you in just a second. Let me just let me just tell you how you can do like a mouth, you know, like that, simple. And by changing the thickness, you can change how wide they look. So like this is like max thickness. I don't know why you'd ever want to use this besides like filling in something. Kind of looks funny. Then you got your one, two, three, four point lines, which look like this. Then I believe this is one, two, three, four, five point line. 
a curve, whatever, whatever. And yeah, that's basically it. There's not much to this yet. And then we got your 3D shapes. You know, your your main tool. You know. So let's go over. So let's go over what they can do. But when placing down shape, you can hold it down to make your own custom size and width, or you can just click to make it its default, like this. See the difference? So what you can do with these shapes is go in and out from the layers, which is more better illustrated by putting down another shape. So let's say you want this squared behind it, you know, move the thing back and then boom. Look at that. Now it looks kind of like a mushroom. Come on, delete. Okay, there we go. And then, oh wait, I just deleted my own square cross turn. Okay, getting back to square, you can you know re re rotate it like this. Ooh, about in and out layer, and then you got your spin. You know, you can spin it round and round. Then you got your you know different like axis like this. And they give you a trusty little thing to tell you when you're, you know, hit your axis that you want. So let's say I want to, let's see if I can get it correctly. 90 degree axis. Or 90 degrees. Boom. And, yes, I know. And then we got, so circles really don't look like they change a lot. Besides if you do like a funny shape, then boom, like that. And yes, it is circle. Got your half circles, which could be used for, like, shoes, half, you know, maybe some hair sometimes. Um, you know, you can use this for a lot of things. Uh, your cone. This could be for, you know, like a spike or just like a top of a hat, which, or maybe a, you know, like a, like a spike hand, you know, like you can go boom, like that. Then you got your pyramid. Oh, come on pyramid which looks like a looks like a you know a cylinder but it, but squared like like a square you know? and then you got your cylinder which looks like this just a basic cylinder oh yeah i forgot to tell you about these little points so the point on top these three points on top designate how long or small they are like this then you got how big and small it is, and it could be set on the other side. And then these two points on the side change the width, so it can be like really wide, like a wall, really thin. If you hear the wind going through my mic, you know, like this. And then you got your hold cylinder. Could be used for a telescope. No, you can get it so close to the camera where it's kind of like, oh, you kind of can, like, like, like this. Ooh, here it comes. Here it comes. Ooh, here it comes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, SpaghettiO. Here it comes. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to see if I can, how close I can get to the camera. Uh-oh. I don't, I don't think I don't, I don't think I can find that anymore. Okay, let's delete it. And then you got your uh, pill or capsule, whatever, which could usually be used for arms and legs, but or necks, whatever you decide. The serve the curved cur I can't speak. Curved cylinder could be used for a lot of things, uh, but if you want like a curved neck, then maybe a donut. If you want a donut, I guess so. But this could also be used for like a necklace, a ring, like a lot of things. <clears throat> then we got these 3D doodles. We'll talk about them in just a second. Let's just go to the 3D models. 3D models are just pre-made models that are, were probably made in Blender. But I don't know exactly. You got your, you know, simple man. Simple woman. I recommend making your own models, please. And you got your dog. Then you got your cat. And then you got your fish. I don't know when the fish was exactly added. <clears throat> Sorry. I don't know when the fish was added, but it, it looks 
new to me. I guess I have seen it before. It's just it used to only be these. Now there's this. I don't know. Now let's get to 3D doodles. So first, the 3D doodle is shape of tube or like the tube brush, which can be changed if you know normal tube how thick it is, and then if it goes you know like after after a while it begins to go thinner, or after a while when you drag it it begins to go thinner at the tip. Or it begins to go th thicker at the middle or thinner at the middle. I can show you all these in right now. So let's first start with the main tube shape. Like that. And then second. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Boom. That's what they look like. And I believe there is more tube shapes. Yep, like a lot of them. But I'll just show them off, like, maybe, like, two more. So let's first start with the star. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Boom. That's what they look like. They kind of look like noodles. It's kind of funny. Delete them. Then we'll go over the uh, go over the diamond. Got this no, one, two, three, four, five. And yes, they do signify what they look like. Looks like a silly, like a silly looking string. Okay, now, let's get to the... So, Open 3D, 3D Library means, you know, this there's this 3D library where you can find all these models. I use these sometimes, which I could show you. So, let's, you know, get a laptop. So, yep, it just, you click, one click, and it spawns in the laptop. Boom. Fully modeled laptop. And this laptop could have anything on it, depending on what you want, you know. So first, if you want to change it, grab a square. And if you want it to be, like, completely black, like, no color in it at all, change. Boom. See? Now it's an off laptop. You can really do what you want with this thing. But, uh, I'm going to just, you know... Make make the entire laptop screen, you know, red. Why not? Okay. I don't know why I picked red for the most of this, but I don't. Oh, every, everything's to red now. It's funny. Uh, okay. Uh, let's fix that. Oh, don't turn everything red, please. I beg you. Oh, damn. you know what? Whatever. Whatever. You get the idea, right? You can spawn anything from three library. You know. All that. Then we then let's go to the search tab. So let's find a, but why not a gun? So, got all these guns. So let's, oh yeah, the ray gun robot. I really want to, you know, 3D print, but I don't have a 3D printer yet. Let's go with this gun. You know, this, this, stuck this toy gun. It's a toy, because it's an orange tip. And let's just make a fictional character hold it. So let's just do simple... Simple like tan color and The hand will not be this big. I'll scale it down just a second. Just yeah. You know. Yes, this is how I do it. I do just use circles And then this is like, you know, I'll change I'll change a lot Throughout the video. This is just an example of how they're supposed to look, you know Boom now, let's make a custom, you know, muzzle flare for this. So first, we'll do a, for the fill, we'll do a yellow, and then for the outline, we'll do that. Then, we'll use the selector tool, which I'll get into in just a second, to cut it in half. Use it again to make it a 3D model. Shrink it down. Put it there. Boom. Now, it looks like it's shooting. 
move him to the side for later. Then we'll get into the stickers. And these are all the stickers I've used. Don't mind them. So then you got your pre-made stickers, you know. Your, you know, simple stuff like you can use this mouth of a dog. You can have an eye. Mouth, like another mouth, you know, for human. Got this cool cat ninja, which is a kind of new sticker. Hold on. The frick was that? The frick was that? That ain't come from my computer, no. Like, it, I. Hold on. The f funk. Okay. <laughs> Creep me out. The lollipop. Sorry for the interruption as well. Lollipop. I guess this is an eyebrow, maybe? Come on. Just a second, guys. I'll stay on the mic. Who's out there? Oh, okay. Christ is averted. Alrighty. Back to the video. You know, I got your star. Got your planet. Got your sun. And you can make these 3D, by the way, if you want. Make them more high quality. But I'd recommend if you would just want to make them a thing they plaster on a 3D model, then I'd recommend doing that. Then you got your, you know, textures, which is a, you can have a wood texture, which I know it looks bad, but this is how it's supposed to look. I think it's wood anyway. Got your water, again, looks blurred, but it looks like this. Maybe that's water, I don't know. Your hair texture, that looks like this. Your rock texture, which looks like this. Your leaves, which looks like this. Your crystals, I believe, or maybe like more different types of rock, looks like that. Got your sand. And then, I guess, I guess that was, and then I guess this is like polished wood. Yeah. And just to give you a good example, let's make a wooden floor. Why not? Okay. So I'll get this big wooden, or not wooden, more like a brown base. Get your sticker. Get your, you know, thing. Then put it on there. It's just simple. Simple, not going to be used anywhere really. It's just you know, if you want to, if you want a wooden floor, then you could have a wooden floor. But there is sometimes, if you want to flip it over, there is some warping on the texture a bit, like this. But that can be easily fixed by pressing the texture again. And you got you know the underside, which is not touched because you know the texture doesn't reach that far. And again, if you want, you can you know make the sticker opacity different. So let's change the wood opacity to like 43. Boom. Looks kind of cleaner, but not the best. Oh, my, my game lagged. Or my thing lagged. Okay, now we got your text. Text, you can literally just put anything. See? And since it kind of works like a sticker, but not really, you can make it 3D. And, you know, now it's a 3D. Look at 30 text, and you can just go whoop. Then you can change your text font if you want, you know. Give it a second. And then you, for some reason, they include symbols. I like these symbols. I just want to see, see, look, look at how cool that is. I want to make these like emojis in Discord. Spider. Uh, 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 mm. You know, there's a lot of different ones. Tab doesn't have one. I don't know why I clicked tab. Oh, what the fuck? Use my language. Yeah, there's like a look, look, look. This is like the first page of it. And then you got like, I think this is like a second page of text. Oh, hey, look, it's, it's, it's wrong. I <laughs> get it. Ch 
kind of testing this out. You know. I might use these like later on during like a build or something. Yeah. And then there is different ones for like caps. I believe these are like wingdings. Yeah, I think they're wingdings. Cuz I, I, I based off like the this. I think this is supposed to mean something. So I guess I'll just put in sus in wingdings all caps and then sus uncaps it looks like that. <laughs> it looks like a face. <laughs> and they could change the color of it, but bef but you have to change the color before you use. Oh, never mind. Okay, never mind. Whatever. You can change the font size, and you can change if it's bold or not, and then boom, like that. And you can change where it's located, like you can do it in the middle. So let's just give a get. Let's get a. Where's the happy face? Where's the, where's the happy face? Where's the happy? I forget what. Okay, there, there, there. And like when it's like you know all like like slanted like that, it means I can use these for a lot of things. Actually. Uh, it means, you know, I don't know what these mean. I don't know what they were used for. And then you can do that. Background fill. You have to change. You can change the color of the background fill. So you can make a letter. Come on. If someone could translate that. Um, yeah. I don't even put that. You know, and then you can resize it, just make it smaller, make it bigger. You can't move it. The moving functionality, you have to actually, like, touch the base. Like that. I don't know if it's decodable anymore, but I will put the, like, a code. Like, what it actually says in the description, maybe. Boom. Oh, no. It's supposed to delete it. There you go. Then you got your 3D text. And then you can change what, you know, it uses and all that. So, let's, again, get the wingdings and... Type in a happy. Oh no, that's not a happy face. Happy face. See? Oh, that's you know, little happy face. Then you might be like, hmm, isn't that just a normal happy face? Nope, it's a 3D happy face. Ooh, ooh, very cool. It's a cylinder happy, cylinder happy. Look at him. Look at the happy boy. And since it is a 3D model, you can edit it in any way you want. So you can make the eyes like that, and the mouth like that. But it kind of does bleed over to that, which is fine if you don't care. I don't care that much, and so I'm not even going to use this. Boom. Weird, creepy looking happy face, but it works. Then let's go to your effects tab. Effects are usually just your lighting. Like, we got default, we got lavender. And this slider over here is where the sun would be positioned in here. So, I think candy, I believe, would be... Like they kind of like you see how it goes like lighter and darker, dark, dark ta uh, taffy. I don't know how to say that. S sand, sands. Sounds funny. Tan, honey, mist, aqua, sky, Canterbury, I guess. No, and then you got the Minecraft settings like Night Minecraft, Underwater Minecraft, Cave Minecraft, Nether Minecraft, and then the End Minecraft. Oh wait, I guess I, guess I deleted the armor accident. Whoopsies. Whoopsie. Uh, I could reinstate that. Just give me a second. There you go. But yeah, you get the idea, right? Canvas options, I already showed you, which... I'd recommend you go with pixels. Pixels are a lot better. And then let's go into like the extra stuff I didn't talk about. You got your, you know, your, you know, stuff. If you can't read up here, you can always go here and show your interaction tools just in case you want to know. Pan. See. And then you got show canvas options, which brings you to that tab. And reset view does that, and then you can take a screenshot. Re un undo, redo, repaste, and then magic select. Magic select, which is used like this. So let let's just make a simple little 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 happy guy, you know, little, little guy. It's not gonna be used for anything, just guy. 
Now let's just say, hmm, he's surrounded by, uh, like, like, maybe, like, he, he has, like, a line coming off of him, you know? Like this. I'm like, hmm, I don't want that line. So I select him. Use magic select. Go up here. I'll do this. It's not perfect. Perfect. Oh, can't speak like an idiot. Do this. Did I get a notification? No. Like this. It's not perfect, but you can see how it kind of works. Then, boom. I recommend you have autofill background on, because if you don't, then it'll make the entire background, like, white. Boom. This is what it looks like. And you can delete that, and boom, now you have a sappy face. Eh, that's fine. Now, let's get into my builder tips. Now, let's just get into what you do if you're going to make your own character and all that. So, let's get into making a human character. So, I'd recommend going with a stable, normal colored base if you don't have a skin tone. So, then, so, okay, so first you make a circle, you know, like normal. Use the capsule shape to make a neck. It doesn't matter what, how thick it is. Oh, we barely notice anyway. Sorry. You got your cylinder, which, you know, you can do this. And always adjusting helps, so like that. And the tip that I use for making this guy is actually don't change it just yet. I'll show you. Then let's make another capsule to make a arm or like one part of the arm. I like my arms being separated so I can pose them later. That's what I usually do for most of my uh, characters. And see how it's like a tiny bit short? That's fine. You could just make a circle for the hand and boom. I'd recommend copying and pasting the hand. Or, or the entire arm to the other side so it you know looks normal and I learned this trick like not so recently but I learned it pretty pretty like recently use the leg or, like the like the bottom arm piece if they're like straight enough to make the legs again this is not necessary you can always make new but I'd recommend using that because they're kind of I want the arms and the legs to be kind of symmetrical. Or like, you know, tall as each other, I guess. I don't know. And to make the, you know, the foot or like the shoe, use the half circle. Just do that. And then copy, paste, and then put over here. Like that. Boom. Then I'd recommend going to the side. And kind of thinning out the body a bit. To make it look, you know, normal. And then, my body, I think, is too thick. I'm going to shorten it down just just enough so it doesn't look too thin, but not too thick. So, it kind of looks like, like, okay, that just looks like a thin man. No. Uh, just, yeah, that kind of looks alright. But, like, my characters usually have, like, thick body. Which is fine. But this is just a test character, so it won't matter in the end. Now, let's make a face for the guy. So if you're making a, if you want to do this, this is just if you're a beginner, I'd recommend using the 2D shapes option and using for the fill, white, and then for the outline, black. If you don't want an outline, you can always choose, like that. And then make the eye color. If you want, you can change the eye color. We'll just do this. Sorry for the noise. It's probably a cat or someone else in my house. And you can do do that. Like that. Boom. Boom. Like that. And yes, they are 3D. It just makes them easier to pose. Then we can make a happy face. Which I'd recommend if you are not a beginner and you actually have talent. I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, if you want, you can always draw the happy face. But if you're just a beginner, then I'd recommend just making the happy face from the, you know, 2D shapes. And bring it up a bit. And then I know my faces kind of look like they're flying like out like a lot. But it's easier, so it doesn't have to, like, you know, clip into anything. Then let's go into any posability. So let's make him hold a gun that we were, that we had earlier. 
And here's a little thing that will happen. I just want you to get the frick out of here, fly. Uh, I just want you to know. See, see how the eyes are actually look good. And then if if you go move it over here, or like shake it all about. Sometimes like when you place it down, it'll kind of look uneven. You, it's not because it's turned or anything, but I'd recommend if you are like okay. This happens to me. I copy and paste something like this, and then when I'm moving it around, the eyes start to move, and it kind of looks like that. Then, after I'm done selecting it, it goes back like that. It's because it kind of turns with the camera, so it looks 3D, I guess. I don't, I don't know. I really wish they'd change it so it doesn't, you know, actually do that. But, you know, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, you know, Microsoft here, so. Yeah. Hold on. There you go, a little guy, you know. And because the things are editable, uh, editable, sorry, you can change the eye color like to red. Ooh, scary. Uh, let's reverse him back to his original state like this. Let's do some details. So let's pretend he's kind of like a robot. So let's make a line all the way down the middle. This could also be used for suits. And then grab your like your color like your pen tool and make three dots if you want it kind of looks like a lab coat slash robot bolt things i guess and you can even do them down the middle if you want them to look all right then if you want to make the hand kind of have like a circle in the middle so it looks like it's not not fully grasp then yeah but if you want your hands to kind of look rested instead of being a ball then i'd recommend doing this so it kind of looks rested it isn't as big, but it, you know, kind of looks all right. And then if you're going to do hair 2D style, I'd recommend just doing something simple. I can't do hair, so I usually make my own using the 3D shapes tool or getting some online. You know, online from the 3D library. Yeah, I forgot the word because I'm stupid. And boom, you can make them shoot it. Like that, see? Boom. Epic style. And then, let's go into the 3D doodles. So, let's go into, like, the noodle shape. These noodle shapes could be used for a lot, but... They're usually just used... I don't know. I don't really use this often. If you want to use it, you can. Well, I don't know if you can do that. Then, the... Th Soft edge tool, which kind of makes it look different. So, let's pull up a thing. Let's make the pipe cleaner icons 3D. I like, only one of them. I won't be doing the textures. I'll maybe do pipe cleaner 3D later. And I will be doing a stream maybe later today. Like, actually, yeah, stream was actually really fun the first time. So, yeah. Okay, let's just scroll like this. You don't have to worry about, like, w copying all the lines, all, like, the blacked out lines. That just kind of makes holes in the thing. I'll show you, like, in a second. Boom. Boom, got the icon shape. See? And then we'll just... Copy the thick, the thick icon, thick skin, and then since it's kind of finicky, I'll put it back down and use magic select. Why not? It's simpler, and I get to show off the ability of magic select. And if you watched my videos before, you have seen that I've used magic select to select the character, you know, textures from the character, and put them onto the model. That and then it should make a neat square, which you could then. Oh, it's not perfect, but like you get the idea, right? It looks like that, and you go whoop and all that, you know. And then you got your like sharp edge, which could be used for like mountain 
kind of like a, like like this type of mountain, like just something simple like that. And then let's actually make it look kind of professional and make it look like an actual mountain by doing that. And then grabbing your square tool, selecting white on both colors, and making it thin, and putting it like that, just to you know, kind of make it look like a mountain. Like with snow on it. It's not perfect, but you get the idea, right? And then I guess we'll put the one there. And then to add some more flair to it, we'll grab some more white and we'll, you know, add some like kind of, kind of looks like, you know, it's still kind of like off there, you know? Boom. Like that. And then if you want, you can make an entire like background based off it. So let's do that. Do that that and then we could then make sure to click off before copying and pasting or else I'll put it so we're just, oh that's just the shaders messing up I believe it shall fix itself and if it doesn't I'll delete it like that uh, oh I thought my thing crashed it died okay boom oh then do that fix it the boom bruh and then we'll do that Perfect. Then I guess we'll do a nice snowy, snowy land. You know, snowy, snowy forest, I guess. Do you like that? Make it, push it forward. Like that. And then using this, if you want, you can make a, a tree. Just make this simple, simple looking tree. I'm going to increase the thickness on it so it actually looks like it, like a tree. Simple like that. And then we'll do the tree branches, or like the tree main. So kind of, so we'll kind of do it like, like this. Then I'll get into my point about don't, like, do all the details in one. And then I guess we'll do this. I, yeah, I know it doesn't look good, but, like, I'm just trying to cut time on this. This video will probably be very long. I'm sorry if you have to sit through this, but it's a really helpful tutorial, and I'll probably make sure, you know, people people understand of how this program works. Put them like this. They can go off the base a tiny bit, and they can even go back a tiny bit, and then turn like that, kind of make it look like that. Second thing, all just you know, selects everything. Boom, like that. And then we could put a canvas like this, like a bigger canvas, widen that thing a bit. Put a kind of like a like a blue, and then let's kind of mix it with a bit of a white. Kind of looks like that. And then... Yeah, oh, yeah, that that's just me wanting to put on music earlier, but I decided not to. And then... Let's do... Snow. Just in general, snow. <laughs> nice. We'll get a snow texture, like a snow falling texture. Or like just, just like snow in general. Oh, let's see if I can find one. I don't know if I can find one. Well, actually, I'm just going to use this as the background. Yeah. Just, just make a sticker. Place in the background. Make it kind of, kind of clear. So, yeah. Uh, sorry. I'm trying to fine-tune everything. Boom, like that. And go here, find a good one. Kind of looks like a winter wonderland. Let's bring this down a bit, actually. So it actually looks good. Boom, boom. You got your little eyes set, you know, 
that looks like a, you know, little snowy wonderland, you know, what you'd Alright, uh, okay, yeah, okay, just making sure it worked. Just making sure it worked. Sorry, my mic died. Dang. Um. Excuse the eating. I got myself a snack because in between. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to post this to my Twitter if you want to see, like, the full, um, thing. I'll probably make this also, like, the thing. Like, a little bit. Actually, come on. Can I extend this out? I'm gonna actually make this kind of like look decent. So these trees we copied. Like I know, like the like the tr like the most of this won't be shown, but I at least wanna. Hold on. Perfect. Sorry, I'm being all paranoid, and so I keep on hearing noises. I know it shouldn't be. I know I'm a scaredy cat. Call me a pussy in the comments. I dare you. I'm joking. I'm not trying to sound mean. I'm just joking. There you go. Look. Look at how nice that looks. And I'll even copy it to my clipboard for later. And then I'll save it. Um, well, Let's go back to the original form. Just a little, little background element. Like that. See? And then we'll move it over here. Oopsies. Let me to do that. And then we'll make this a 3D. Then we'll put that over here. Boom. That's background on it. 
Now, let's reset this. Now, let's get into if you're going to make a, you know, like a Bambi. You know, if you know who he is, he's from the Dave and Bambi mod. Go play it. It's really good. This is just going to be a test character. So, let's first get the main head head shape. Well, this is actually going to just be the hat. Right. Boom, hat. And the donut's going to be used for Bambi's rim of the hat. Ooh, that's big. That's a big donut. I didn't even do that. Don't blame me. Boom, and you can change the like the like the thickness of the hat as well. Then make just like the like the head a circle. Put that up. Boom. And then usually, oh shit, Oopsies. Um, if you want, you can make the eyes like half eyes, like he does. But what I usually do. Is just boom, boom. Look at that. Is I usually just put them out like. Let me show you, like this. But if you want, you could do this. You know, put them, put them a little bit under the hat, or under the brim, whatever. Like this. Then you can give him his mouth. Like that. Then for the body, it's going to be another half, um, half, you know, half circle, but it's going to be like a bit bigger and a bit, um, longer, like this, but not too long, so like maybe kind of like that. Then we'll use this half cylinder, like, like, or the cylinder, to make his little, like, trouser, or like his pants, beginning, which can be thinned down. Like that. That's not how I usually make them, but, uh, you know. This is, I'm just teaching you how to make them if you want to make, like, a Bambi custom. Then you got his, you know, legs. Which, his legs can be however long you want them to be. And then just copy and the paste, like that. I like giving mine arms to based off, like, the normal design. Or, like, hands. But if you want to make it more like the unfairness and, um, you know, other designs, you can. And I'll even teach you how to model a phone. If you want to make Bandu. Get the simple... What the fuck was that? Get the simple, um, you know, shape like this. You know, simple square. Make the square a tiny bit smaller and put it out a bit. Make it bigger. Make the screen blue. Like any blue works, but I think it's like this blue. Yeah. Then get a circle like this. And then make it black. And then you can put whatever on um, whatever you want on there. Boom, like that. See? Then we can give him his phone. For square objects like this, I usually just put them like in front of the hand, or maybe I kind of make them like this. I can make them hold it like this. Show you. Boom, like that. Hold on. Just a little too far. Ah, it's fair enough. It's good enough. Boom. That's how you make like a Bambi. That's too big, bruh. <laughs> Small head, Bambi. Eh, well, it looks a bit better. <coughs> I recommend making the mouth 3D, though. Just my tip. Then we'll move them to the side. And that's kind of it for the video. Like, anything I missed and, like, any tips I want to give, I can give. Yeah, like, hold on, let me just, also, okay, I guess I'll just show you the menu tab. So, this is the menu tab. This is an old thing I was making on my stream last time. Uh, you, should, you should go watch the thing. This is my thing I'm soon to release. 
you know, we got all these, you know, this is where you'd find your safe projects, this is where you'd find your recovered projects. I have a lot of them. I have a lot of them. And then you can open, which you can browse your files. I guess I'll save it. Give it just a second to save. And yes, you can save this as a Paint 3D project, an image project, or, or an image file, or a 3D model file, and a 3D, or not 3D, I mean like a, like a video file. Then, if you browse the files, oh. stop complaining. See, this is all your things. Then you can do insert, which is just the same thing as browse, and you can insert a file. Save just redirects you to save. Oh, oh, that just saves it. I guess an auto save. Give it just a second again. Okay. I guess usually it would redirect you if you haven't saved yet to save as, which is this image, 3D model, video, paint 3D project. And then you can print it as a 3D print or a 2D print. You can share it with your friends if you want. I don't know why you would, but I think it only goes with the Messenger app. Yeah, see. <coughs> I'm good. Yeah, see, nothing. I don't have any context. Contacts. I don't use that. Then there's this mysterious file right here, which does nothing. What's new? What? Oh. Nothing. Then settings. You can change the settings. Any feedback? No, there's already tutorials, but I make my own just so you know. And there's the back tool, or you, I think it, you could just push exit. Oh uh, no, I guess not. Okay, whatever. Well, I guess that's for when you when. You